Hello guys, welcome back to Premier League predictions. Another week of Premier League is coming up and yet I do know that there's a midweek fixture list as well. That will be uploaded on Monday, so it'll possibly be a double upload on Monday, so keep an eye out for that. But anyway, this video is sponsored by Tab Air Printing. Use the word sport as it's felt on your screen now. You get 10% off your purchase price if you use that in the discount code. And they could be selling my merch very, very soon. But anyway, guys, I want to get straight into this video. A lot of games to talk about, a lot of talking points as well. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first game we're going to talk about is Leeds versus West Ham. Leeds United are one of these teams that, you know, did start off okay. I think they won their first four first three games something like that and then you know the real Premier League start to kick in um, West Ham on the other hand they did lose to Man United after having a really good first half I thought but you know game over 90 minutes not just the 45 going forward to this game being at Ellen Road I can only see this game going one way and that is a draw and I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one my next one is Wolverhampton versus Aston Villa. A big derby day for the Midlands. Uh, I don't know how far the grounds are specifically from each other. I do know that West Brom is closer to Wolverhampton, but it's still a Midlands derby. Anyway, as I said, I'm not quite sure how far the grounds are from each other, but I do know they're slightly close. Anyway, uh, going forward to the game, you've got Wolverhampton... You know, played Liverpool and they lost 4-0, I think it was. You know, quite a heavy defeat uh, for Wolves. You know, I might speak to one of my Liverpool friends and he were not expecting that result anyway. But it's a good result for Liverpool. Aston Villa, on the other hand, didn't play. Supposed to play Newcastle uh, due to the coronavirus outbreak at Newcastle training ground. That game got... Uh, so they've had a week off but I'm expecting Wolverhampton to get back on winning ways this weekend and go for a 3-1 scoreline for that one my next one is Newcastle United versus West Bromwich Albion Newcastle as I said they didn't play last week due to the outbreak at Newcastle's training ground of the coronavirus you know they've yet again had a week off West Brom are slightly up against it I can't quite remember how they got on uh, during the weekend. I think they might have lost at home. I can't remember who they play. I can't even, uh, you know, even I'm saying they lost, I'm not 100% sure whether that's true or not. But, you know, I could be wrong. You could correct me down in the comments below. Going forward to the game, Newcastle at home and a much needed three points. And I'll probably more expected to get the three points, if anything. But do I go for it? I'm going to go yes, I think. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Newcastle win. I might even try and guess the goal scorers in these videos as well to make it a bit more interesting. Please put your predictions down below in the comments as well. My next one is Manchester United versus Man City. Man United lost to uh, RB Leipzig in the Champions League and for that they play Europa League football uh, not yeah Europa League football for the remainder of the season but that's got to be a must win title for United now as well um, try and get back in the Champions League it don't look like the top four is going to be that easy to get back into going up against the Manchester City side as I said Manchester Derby I can only see this going one way I think uh, you know, both Manchester sides are below par, uh, especially Man City. I think they are in the top 10 now, but, you know, hot, neither now nor there. Tottenham are top, so that's it already. But going forward to this game, I'm going to go for a bit of an upset, even though, it's, you know, it could be one, it could go the other way, but I'm going to go for a Man City win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Man City win. My next one is Everton versus Chelsea. Everton, can't quite remember how they got on. Uh, nor can I remember Chelsea. But two teams look very, 
you know, good in form. Uh, Everton played, I think Everton played Burnley, and I think it was, yeah, Everton played Burnley in one-all scoreline. Um, but as I said, both teams look comfortable. I'm just trying to think of a way to call this. I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Southampton versus Sheffield United. Now, Southampton did play Brighton and they won 2 1. Now, VAR's been used against my club. Am I still a fan of VAR? And the question is yes. Unfair, you know, weren't it a penalty? I've seen a few pictures and, you know, different pictures tell me different things, but. It's going to, you know, I'd still rather have an even game than not. Going up against Sheffield United, who are bottom of the league, really struggling. Obviously, Southampton and Gautron want to build on that win against Brighton. So, I'm going to go for a Southampton win, and I'm going to go for an easy 3 now Southampton win. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Tottenham Hotspur. As I said, Tottenham Hotspur are top of the league. Uh, looking very comfortable, you know, under the circumstances of basically playing front of 2,000 fans in the North London derby, and it wasn't a bad day for Tottenham, was it really? So, um, Crystal Palace, on the other hand, doing okay, but I think Tottenham will pinch this game, and I'll go for a 2 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Fulham versus Liverpool. Liverpool, Liverpool, <laughs> well I don't know why I've done it in that accent, but anyway, um, Fulham, you know, sitting in the relegation, must need to pick up points, but you know, same with Liverpool, I'm going to go for a Liverpool win, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Liverpool win. My next one is Arsenal versus Burnley, Arsenal losing to Tottenham, I'm very much in trouble. I think they're on 13 points. Brighton are on 10. I think... I can't remember who's in 18th. Whoever's in 18th is on 9. So it's getting very tight down the bottom. Burnley are sitting down in that relegation zone as it stands. If I remember rightly. Burnley seriously need to you know, win this game. So does Arsenal. I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Leicester City versus Brighton over Albion. As I said, Brighton did lose Southampton. Penalty or not, I really can't call it. Uh, I really, you know, I'm really struggling because all the pictures I've seen, you know, as I said, they tell me different things. Uh, but they lost to Southampton, so, you know, as they beat off Leicester, beat Sheffield United, and Jamie Vardy broke a corner flag. Uh, but, you know, how do I call this game? I don't think I'm going to go for a Leicester win, and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Leicester win. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do. Give it a big crap thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.